G'day, I'm Jake from Mike Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I'm gonna give you a great idea for a science fair project. And this idea is based on the Mini Vortex Cannon. These Mini Vortex Cannons are super awesome, super cool. Basically, a plastic cup with a hole in the bottom and with a coating and with some smoke put in. Now, I've got a smoke machine, which I guess are a little bit difficult to get, but you could use like the smoke from a burning piece of paper or something like that. Um, basically, you put a little bit of smoke into the cup and you can blow a smoke ring. Look at that. A science fair project has to answer a question. There's a few questions that you could ask about these things. For example, what is the best, oh, what is the best cup size to make a mini vortex um, cannon out of? That's a good question. Or what is the best size hole to make a uh, mini vortex cannon from for example so so you know what is the relationship between the size of the hole which would be the um, independent variable and maybe the um, distance that the smoke ring travels that would be the dependent variable or another thing you could test is the type of material uh, which you actually use as like the skin as the, the drum skin do, 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 do. so Let's make one of these things. I've got a candle, I've got a candle here. And I'm gonna light the candle. Here we go, let's light the candle. Get a flame happening. And I've got a screwdriver. And if I heat up the end of the screwdriver, hmm, now that's gonna take a bit of time. I've got a faster weight. <laughs> but you probably, you probably won't have a faster weight. You just use the candle. Now this next step, it's so satisfying, okay? What you do is you get your hot screwdriver and you push it into the plastic cup. Look at that, look at that. It's only a small hole, but I can make it bigger in a tip. And let's put a coat, a covering on it now. Now, I'm actually going to use some baking paper to start with. So, just cut some baking paper. Um, and I'm going to just use a marker to go around, just roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect. Cut it out with a pair of scissors. Once you've got it cut out, you could use, you could use tape, but I've actually found that elastic bands are perfect for the job. So just holding it over the cup, Yay! You got it. Now it's stretched like a bit of a, a drum skin, see that? And let's test it. This has got a tiny hole in it. Oh! Blow some of that smoke away. Oh, and the little hole makes little cute little vortex rings. That's not too bad at all. I've made up this Lego like little kicker thing. So that's a little Lego kicker. And the idea of this is to pull it back a set distance and then let it go. And maybe it needs to go a bit further back. It's the idea is so that you actually hit it with the same force each time. What happens if I do a bigger hole? So let's try a bigger hole. And ooh, around we go. Let's make the hole bigger now. And put a bit of smoke in. And let's have a look. Oh, I, I think, I think it works. It's a lot easier to make them with that bigger hole. Another question might be, what is the best material? Now, I need to use the same cup, and I need to put, uh, let's try um, plastic wrap, cling wrap. And so I'll just get some cling wrap, like so. Put that over the cup, 
get the elastic band. We've got to make sure the hole's the same size as the other one. When you're doing the experiment, you can only change one thing at a time. Let's have a look. This is plastic wrap. Oh! Oh! That's actually pretty good too. I like it. Oh, these this smoke these smoke rings are mesmerizing. I love it. Woo. What about aluminium foil? So we can try it. Or aluminium foil if you're in America, but in Australia, in Australia, we call this shiny stuff. Aluminium foil. Yeah, strange, isn't it? When, when Americans say aluminum foil, we're like, what is that? But anyway, that's just what we call it. Aluminium foil. How do you guys spell it? How do you spell aluminium aluminum in America? Okay, let's put a hole in it. Smoke. What about this one? Oh. Oh. Wow. Mm, a little bit harder to make than the plastic wrap. They're still working. But they're still quite successful. Like, I'm still pretty happy, but maybe they're not. Okay, so hopefully that's given you some ideas for a science fair project. Just remember that you've got to keep everything the same and only change one variable. And that one variable that you change is called the independent variable. So for example, the independent variable in this case has been um, what material I've made the skin from. I've made the cups. The cups are the same. The holes are the same. The only thing I'm changing is the material that goes on the cup and the dependent variable is the smoke ring that's produced. So it could be like the, the um, distance the smoke ring travels, uh, it could be the thickness of the smoke ring uh, that's produced. Uh, ideally, also you need to make sure that you tap it with this, you need to tap it with the same force. So, hope that helps. And um, here I've got a little bit of footage to a little bit of music um, of some smoke rings, so I hope you enjoy that. And um, I hope to see you again on Make Science Fun. Um, I've got a lot of other videos with science fair project ideas, so just like type in Make Science Fun, science fair project ideas, and I've probably got about five or six videos on them, so um, you should definitely check them out, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.